Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you the process of me making my first pair of crochet shorts. I was inspired by this picture from Dua Lipa and she looks so cute in her shorts and I was like, I can crochet those even though I think hers were knitted. I first went into my dad's room and got like a pair of his old basketball shorts or like athletic shorts because I wanted them to be like really oversized and loose so that's what I based my shorts on. These are the pair of shorts I'm going to use to base my Harry Styles cardigan inspired shorts. And so I started like designing it kind of like seeing the square sizes I would need kind of like the Harry Styles cardigan and I just used like a bunch of like cheap yarn that I just had lying around so if I messed up, it wouldn't matter that much. So it took me a lot of time to just make all of the squares and I'll just put the time lapse here. took me like two days in total just because it's like smaller squares so it wasn't as bad and I learned this new trick where it's like the foundation row when you first chain you can actually simultaneously make the first row of the crochet and I'm gonna make a tutorial on that really soon but I think it's just like makes your starting process of crochet a lot faster and I wish I would have known this when I first started so after I completed making all the squares I had to put them together now and this is the part where I was like oh shoot maybe I didn't really account for like the parts where you sew it together and you lose some space but luckily it kind of turned out okay because I ended up using seven squares instead of six squares Once I have the horizontal rows, I started connecting them together.
and then I eventually got something that looked like the front part of a shorts. Sewing the front part of it. Look at this. This is like crazy. Will I ever actually? Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Will I ever actually wear this? I don't think so. But maybe around the house. Uh, yeah. Don't know. Um. And I was happy with it. I was like, okay, this looks kind of promising. And then, so I did the exact same with the backside and realized, oh, maybe I should make the backside bigger just cause you know. So an update for the shorts. I finally got, <laughs> they look so funny. So this is the front side. This is the back side. I made them identical and I wasn't thinking because like you're supposed to make the back side of the shorts a bit bigger. But because these shorts are supposed to be really loose, we will see. I don't know how this is gonna end. I think they're gonna be really short, so I'm probably gonna have to like make a cuff here. I ended up making them the exact same size because I was like, oh, they're gonna be loose anyway. It'll it'll work itself out when I wear it. So once I finally had all of that together, it was finally time to crochet both of the sides together and actually be able to try them on. And I'm not gonna show you me trying them on. They looked absolutely terrible. They look like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I think it's because the yarn is so thick. So it's like rather than like a sweater, which is like supposed to be thick or whatever, shorts are supposed to be thinner. And because I wanted these to fit like really loose and like fl not flowy, I guess, but maybe it's the type of yarn I use that is just like really stiff and like bad quality. Maybe that's why it did not look good. And I'm going to make some alterations to hopefully make it look better. I mean, it looks good on its own, just on, and it's so uncomfortable because <laughs> I didn't sew any of the threads inside and I was like, I'm never gonna wear this. But it was like a fun experiment. And finally, after I did that, I was like, okay, maybe adding ribbing to the top will just complete it, seal it, make it look fantastic. So I ended up making a rib. It was like nine stitches long. And I just single crochet, back looped it, and made a ribbing. <laughs> I think it looks great um, besides the colors by itself, not on somebody. <laughs> Just like the shape looks fine, but because it's so thick, looks like pajamas. I mean, I will just reveal it to you now. I didn't perfect it because I was like, I, I need to make it better somehow, but here it is. Like, honestly, I can't see. When you look at it, it looks like a pair of shorts and they look really big, right? They look like humongous shorts. But trust me, when you put these on, since it's so thick, it's just like, it's not it's not a fun look. Um, and I do agree, these colors are atrocious. But honestly, it looks pretty cool. And for my first try, not that bad. I can do a lot better, I know. And hopefully eventually I'll make a pair of shorts like these in colors that I like and it will actually look good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was kind of just showing you the process of me coming up with a idea to do and then trying to design it. In this case, this one was kind of a fail, but it's a promising project. So hopefully I can try it again in the future and actually make it something that I can wear in public. <laughs>
and that's comfortable to wear. So thank you so much for watching. If you watched up until this point, tell me what project you're working on right now. If you don't know how to crochet, just tell me what project you would like to work on in the future. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this video and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more crochet content and vlogs and small business vlogs and everything. And see you in my next video. Bye!